Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, please email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Email me for pricing at tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing one of the best modern-day entries in the integrated bracelet steel sports watch category. From Chapek, this is the Antarctique Passage de Drake. Stainless steel and 40.5 millimeters in diameter. It measures 11.3 millimeters thick, and if we measure the case itself, then the case lug-to-lug -lug dimension is 44.5 millimeters. If we measure this little outcropping end length, then the total rigid distance across the wrist is a larger 48.6. That said, it is quite slim and trim by the standards of the class. It's miles more wearable than even a Royal Oak 15500, which feels like an offshore. This feels more like a jumbo in terms of fit. On the wrist, it wears easily. My wrist is 16 centimeters circumference. You can see that the watch is fairly low with a sloped flank. It will fit underneath dress cuffs. It's nowhere near too broad. I believe you could wear this watch on a wrist down to 14 centimeters circumference. And yes, you can wear it on accessory straps, which improves the fit still further. It is comfortable, nicely balanced. And as you can see, it features lugs that are already angled downward, which improve the ergonomics. The bracelet is a handsome, fully integrated piece. You can see satin in profile, satin across the top. We have polished intermediates. We also have removable links, as you can see. They are held in place by a combination of bars and sleeves, which means you will need a block and punch if you want to size this bracelet, but you will find that there are many individual removable links and there are intermediate sized links in case you're in between sizes. Also important is that this watch can be used on a factory strap. You can see there's a little uh, twist dial quick release on the bottom. You turn the dial, the bracelet comes right off, then you fit the accessory strap. That's how that works. We have a double folding clasp in stainless steel, which is Chapek branded. It is a non-sequential close, so either side can close first. There's company logo right there. Twin trigger release, thick gauge steel chassis and swing arms, very solid, very secure. You can see on the underside, there are sizable gaps between the links uh, to avoid pinching skin or pulling hair. There are not large gaps on the top. Taking a quick look in profile, this is a remarkably severe case shape as it doesn't feature many softening bevels to mute the impact of its many hard angles and creases. It has an enormous amount of force and presence for a watch that is, even by the standards of the class, not that large. The bevels that are there are well chosen. You can see them on the crown guard structures. The edge of the bezel is satinated, then the sloped portion is polished. The bevels of the crown guard structure give way to a crown that is alternately polished and media blasted, harking back to the establishment of the original Chapek company. And then you can see that there are hollows in the case flank to break up the apparent shear of the profile. You can also see that the bezel is stepped in somewhat from the case band to create the image of a thinner watch. We have a beautifully vaulted box section sapphire that looks as expensive as it is. Box section and cambered is always more expensive than flat. We have this sort of lapping machine radial graining on the case top that's a lovely 70s accent. And then you can see that the lug hoods are actually a longitudinal so those are two different patterns right there. We have longitudinal satin along the flank. And then on the dial, in ink black, we have what Chapek describes as a stairway to heaven pattern, which is a poetic and rockin' way of describing it. We also have polished and faceted applique indices and applique Arabic numeral 12 with a little red index at 12 o'clock. We have polished hands that are also faceted, and you can see that there is a little red varnished tip on the counterweighted second sand. You can also see the counterweight of the second sand is identical to the focused portion of the crossed logo. Now, taking a quick look at this dial, you can see that they've come up with a lovely typeface for the date. We'll unscrew the crown. By the way, the watch 120 meters water resistant. And you can see that the watch does feature a quick set and a special font that is 
specifically created for the watch. You can also see the symmetry of these things and the attention to detail as the numerals used on the date disc are the same as the numerals used on the dial. I love when all of the details are sweated. You can also see that the logo, though shallow, is applique metal lettering, which is a nice upscale way of doing things. We have a hacking or stop seconds function. On the reverse side, we have a movement that was created expressly for Chapek, and it is exclusive to the brand. It is created by a team overseen by Emmanuel Boucher, who gave the world the Harry Winston Opus 12. You can see that it is a micro rotor with a recycled platinum rotor. So the rotor is actually recycled, which is good for nature, but also it's platinum, which means it's the densest material available to optimize the winding efficiency. As a 60 hour power reserve, it's adjusted in five positions like a chronometer. And you can see that it's built like a sports watch with relatively sturdy construction, not excessively thin, though it is fairly slim. You can see Geneva-style individual finger bridges leading down from the barrel through the wheel train to a full balance bridge anchored on both sides for shock resistance and a free-sprung balance that allows both very precise regulation and, again, still more shock resistance. It should have absolutely no difficulty meeting chronometer timing standards. Uh, the movement is absolutely glorious with a number of sharp bevels uh, that are handsomely polished. Taking a quick look, you can see a little bit like some Grunefeld watches. We have three different finishes on each bridge where we have a sort of media blasted hollow and then we have a satin channel along the border and then on the border itself, the downward slope, we have a mirrored anglage and you can see that repeated across the surfaces and across the edges of the bridges. So this is a high grade of anglage. You can also see that they did not spare any expense for that center bridge. As you can appreciate, it is fully black polished, beveled on its edge, and includes no fewer than one, two, three, four sharp interior angles where bevels meet. That is truly superb work. There's also solarization on the barrel itself and you could appreciate that all of the elements are beautifully detailed. Every single screw head is black polished with chamfered slot and circumference. There's solarization surrounding the ceramic bearings of the micro rotor. And then all of this uh, beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour and pivoting on 28 joules. It is technically refined beautifully finished, and again, very exclusive to Chapek. I particularly appreciate the skeletonization of all of the bridges. This is an extraordinary watch and one of the best new entries to a time-honored sports watch class. Reach out to a team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. A parting shot with the Antarctique just to establish its luminous bona fides.